Hello, welcome to another tutorial that I, this one I really don't understand what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting. I know nothing about clay, I know nothing about how to use it. <clears throat> I made this clay from the soil here, relatively easy. So now I'm trying to figure out how much grog or how much temper I use in this clay before I start constructing because I want to make these art pieces for uh, us, for our family, for we just had a baby girl and we want to put the little plates with the footprint in there, maybe the name and whatever. So <clears throat> I just want to figure out uh, before I actually do that, before I fire it, uh, <clears throat> what is it? going to how much grog is do i have to use how much temper do i have to use before uh this so this works properly once again i know nothing of what i'm doing i'm just experimenting and i found this page that kind of gives me a little a few tips and i'll put the link in the description i didn't do exactly what this guy did but it's similar so i'm just kind of putting my own spin what works for me now, uh, my grog, for my grog, I'm using uh, construction sand. They say not to use beach sand because it has too much other things in it, and it's uh, not as coarse as the construction sand. So don't use beach sand. That's what they say. So to start off, I'm going to have my control, which I don't use any sand in. And then uh, for this one, it will be... Okay, so I have four that I'm working with. One will be two sides. One will be one and a half sides the other one will be one side and the other one will be half a side they say you need more grog if you're using your pottery for uh, cooking or you know it's going to be in the fire a lot mine will never see fire other than the firing process so with mine I don't think I'll need very much but we're going to see so first off I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to do both sides here. Let's see how this goes. Coat it nicely on both sides. Here you go. Coated it nicely on both sides. That one's done. Okay, this one's going to be one and a half. So I'm going to go. So just like that. The other side is complete. This side is only half with a little here, but that should make a difference, I hope. Okay, so this side is only, I'm only going to do one side. Let's coat it nicely. So that's one side. Uh, let's see how, so both sides, one and a half, one side, and then this will be half. This one will only be half side. This is all experimental before I venture into doing the real art so I don't put all this work in and then before you know it I have a bunch of flops and I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to massage them all in, make them into a ball and roll them out flat to the thickness I'm going to use my plates. Alright, here I am. I have created... So this is double sided grog, this is one and a half side, this is one, this is half and that's control none with my little baby's footprint in. When I get done with these and figure out how, uh, how I'm going, or like which grog works better, once I figure out that test I'm going to make these plates like this more cleanly obviously, a little thicker maybe. and. Uh, with my baby's footprint in more pronounced. Just a little something nice to have for a memory for your baby. Forgive my pond, it's gross, we don't use it, so I need to drain it. But anyways, uh, cool little idea for people who just had a baby. Nice, I made this clay from the ground. All right guys, here's about four days later. This one cracked. And this one cracked and in their little tutorial online they say if they crack before they fire that's obvious sign they're no good now maybe I did something wrong but the other ones didn't crack now I'm gonna fire them and see they say once you fire them you'll be able to tell exactly which ones are good and which ones are not uh, learning uh, firing these are a little out of the scope of this video not the premise so I can do a separate video on that but right now 
All I'm going to do is fire them and show you the after effect. The premise of this video is to show you how much temper to use in your clay concoction. All right, so here is the finished product. It seems like the two best out of these, they all did pretty good. Even this one, even though it was broken, but it was cracked ahead of time. Seems like the one sided grog didn't do as well. It cracked before I even fired it, which is a sign they say that it's not good. But uh, these three held up. These three. Half, one and a half, and two. And I think out of all of them, two looks the best. It, it even feels better in my hand. It feels uh, more sturdy and durable. This one's still good, but it, it feels like a little more brittle. And this one actually feels better than the one and a half for some reason. But it's just messing with different ratios of grog. But I do notice that uh, I should have fired them just a little bit longer because there's little portions on the back that rub off and crumble a little bit. That's a sign that I didn't fire it long enough. But I'm telling you, these are... This is pottery. This is... Uh, I can help you with the sound here. That's, that's fire, that's clay, that's fired clay. So I think my conclusion, my tests, because you might have one like this that's nice and held, holds together through the, through the firing, but it's brittle, you know? So I ran these tests and I feel like these two are the best. So I think anywhere between one and a half sides and two sides are gonna give me the best results. You have to run these tests if you wanna get good results from your firing this is the first time i've done this so i'm pretty impressed with it i ran the fire for a good three and a half hours roaring and then let it burn down overnight through coals um i could have went even longer though i'm gonna have to when i do my final firing that's what i'm gonna do these are very rough ugly cakes <laughs> It's just a test, but you have to run these tests if you don't want to put a bunch of work into something and then it's messed up, you know. So I'm going to go with one and a half and two between those ratios.